Hey, welcome back friends. Something exciting here at Tampa 2023. That is the new Stick and Tin Toy Hauler from Grand Design. So this is their Momentum MAV, M-A-V. And yeah, we're gonna take a look around today. All right guys, you know how we roll. Normally I start from the front, but we're gonna start here in the back and yeah, you get your back porch, just like your big boy toy haulers. But this is gonna be, like I mentioned, the Stick and Tin line of toy haulers from Grand Design. Again, they're calling it their MAV Momentums. And this is gonna play off of their Transcend line of trailers. Uh, actually, I think they're built in the same factory. But you can see instantly, you've got your garage. We'll go, all of those specs, all the garage specs, all the, the tank capacities you're seeing on your screen right now, all of your weights you've already seen. But yeah, let's take around, let's take a look around this bad boy. And the, you know, the big momentums, the big fifth wheels, that's their main line of toy haulers, but they wanted to hit a segment of folks that wanted a travel trailer and didn't want to spend as much money. So you can see big windows here on your campsite. It's coming up this way. We're at the show, so you may hear some background noise. Nice big pass through here. And like I said, these are stick and tin, so there's the sticks, right? This is a flag holder. So wasn't sure what those were at Hershey. Now we know. Here's your graphics. Brand new graphics, MAV Momentum. Yeah, it's a good looking unit. Good looking unit. I like the Momentum, I mean, I like the, the uh, graphics package here. I like what they've done. Different than the Transcend, a little bit different than your Transcend, but still uh, keeping along the Grand Design line of things. Here's your comfort station, convenience center, whatever they want to call it. You know what I'm talking about. Solar comes standard on these, just like they do with Transcend. This is no different. Here's going to be a ladder that you will need later in the bunkhouse. You'll see that. And yeah, we'll sneak back here a little bit. Windows back here. No slides. So I don't know if you noticed that or not. You guys, and a lot of you guys, will love the fact that this thing doesn't have any slides. So let's walk back through here. You've got your water. You've got your furnace right there. 50 amp unit here is your ladder so obviously with the uh the ramp back there and yeah, the, the ramp on the toy hauler you can't have a rear ladder so they put those on the side here's your little window back here and then another little shot of your back porch let's go inside Okay, before we go in, make sure to mention 19-foot awning and Rockford Fosgate audio throughout. So when you see speakers in here, they're going to be Rockfords. Let's take a, take a step inside. And here we go. A little travel trailer toy hauler. Maybe a little gander. These units get just beat to crap. <laughs> you can see all these papers flying all over the place. Sorry about that. Good overhead storage here in the kitchen. These are these are a little deeper than usual. Uh, probably a good, at least a good foot deep. Glass front, you can see that. Uh, solar comes standard on these. I think I mentioned that a minute ago when the outside. That's a that's a nice big storage there. So 12 volt fridges as well. Here's all your drawers, cabinetry underneath. Uh, big storage down there. Let's see what we got here. So they took out the oven for these drawers. I think people will like that because you got a convection microwave. So I think that's going to be good. See your tie downs. This is a 13.6 garage when it's closed. I think it's uh, I think it's 70 something. You know what? It's right here. 75 inches across right there at the uh, stove. 80 inches across right here at the microwave and then 13.6 deep. You're also going to have a pretty good overhead clearance there as well. You're definitely going to be able to fit golf carts, Can-Ams. Matter of fact, they put a Can-Am in it to take their marketing pictures with. That's my understanding. But there you go. Let's go on the back porch. And now uh, these, of course, these roll over into beds. These are, uh, I think these are in the big momentums as well. So these roll over into beds. This is on shocks. It will fold down into a bed. And then, uh, so you got tons of sleeping back here, not to mention the front. And then you got your back porch, which I always think, I'm always envious of the toy hauler folks with their back porch. This table comes with the unit, of course, and you can move it out here. 
for you know snacks or whatever else or you could actually move it right there in between these two for to make it a little dining area but yeah here's your little back porch uh, this is gonna be probably seven feet long somewhere around there six seven feet long six and a half feet big 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 window here campsite I love that like I mentioned no slide on this unit so there's definitely pros to that less leaks less prone to leaks less slide components all that good stuff there's your convenience center there there is your Furion AC and here's your bathroom Little storage nooks there. Got some drawers, cabinetry, porcelain toilet, good size shower for sure. Yeah, there's that, and here's the bedroom. Residential queen, you got your nooks back there. You can see those where you got your plug ins as well. Those are good size nooks. There's several things you could put back there. Uh, I would like to see some reading lights maybe here, but you've got this, but I would like to see them on each side. And then you've also got extra wardrobe over here. So let's take a look at that. We've seen these before in the uh, in the transcend line. Yeah, hanging hanging clothes there. Big big nook right there. Nice drawers. Very good. Good job, Mav. Looks pretty good, man. I'm not a toy hauler guy, but I totally get those that are. And um, so yeah, I think this is a great, great entry level, not even an entry level, I mean, yeah, if you're if you're wanting to ball on a budget, as they say, this could be an option for you.